rant or what did they end rant rant ended all right connie says why does my dog nip at the pants leg of only men small dog 20 pounds because it wants men to go away it doesn't want men around Men are bigger in general. Men are men have deeper voices in general. And men are more likely to be standoffish or confrontational. A lot of dogs have that issue. Doesn't mean it was abused by a man. How can we stop it? Well, the dog has to learn what no means. Um, but more importantly... Uh, dogs, dog, the dog has got to just uh, be more humble. It has to, it has to uh, have a healthy respect for what you want and not what, not just what it wants. Oh, it's just being selfish at the moment. Dog says, I don't care what. My owner wants, I want this man away. Don't care what you say. It's about what I want. Well, I think the dog has to start caring about what you want. I wouldn't pet it uh, as much. When it does something that you don't like. What's the consequence for this dog after it nips? What do you do? Because the dog does have to take you, take you into consideration, and it should. It's healthy for the dog to take you into consideration. So I do know that your dog would be more likely to be curious and humble if it wasn't so comfortable being um, spoiled. So your dog's basically saying, I get all I get what I want, all my love from this person or and this person and maybe this person or whatever, and nobody else is allowed. So when people come over, here's a couple of rules, and this is not knowing how your situation specifically, but if it's twenty pounds, usually disabling and try to show that there is no reason to be scared. He ain't scared. Dog's not necessarily, well, okay, maybe scared. Um, but but you can, your dog can show fear just by leaving, avoiding, and not being an assertive. Your dog ain't necessarily that scared either, right? Dogs that bite, especially going up to someone and biting is not scared because they're going up. A true scared dog is not even going to go up. They're going to hide. And then maybe if you try and grab them while they're in the corner, then they may bite you. But a dog that's all scared 
not coming up to you and biting you. So there's a, there's a drive that says, this is my territory and I do what I want. And I'm going to make you do what I want. That's more so the, the mindset of the dog that, that, that bites only men. So just keep that in mind. I don't want you to say that it's scared because then you make excuses for the dog as to not what, not give the proper consequence. Doesn't matter if the dog is scared, not scared, or whatever. The dog should still listen to you when you say no before it stops. I mean, before it even goes over there, right? So when the, if a man was to walk through your door and your dog go up, you you should be able to say no, and the dog's stopping its tracks or go lay down or something like that. But he's so comfortable in his own space that he goes, I don't just, I'll, I'll go, I'll go try and, I'll go try and manipulate this space in the way that I want to. Interesting. My other dog will go upstairs and lay on the bed when too many people come over. See, that's an option for that 20 pound dog too. You know what I mean? That's a, that's a great option. That would be the option of the, of, of a dog who is a little more humble and just doesn't want to deal with it and know, and truly knows that there's another way out. But your dog says, this is my territory. Everything is mine. So. All right. Next question. Uh, my dog will literally steal food out of your hand or off your plate as you're walking. 